Hey everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to walk you through Agent Skills, which is a feature that can extend cloud's capabilities, making it more useful for you. AI agents today are quite intelligent when it comes to general tasks, but they often lack the domain-specific expertise needed for more specialized workflows. Agent skills are designed to help solve this problem. You can think of skills as organized expertise, packaged in a way that agents can understand and apply. Cloud can automatically invoke relevant skills when working on a task. When your prompt matches a skills description, Cloud is going to dynamically load the skill into context. If the skill references other files or scripts, they are also progressively loaded and run as needed. Skills are also portable, so you can share them across projects and organizations. This way, your team can access the same expertise easily. Next, let me show you how to create and use skills in Cloud Code. Now before we jump into the exciting part, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss any new videos that can really level up your skills. Also, click on the bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, you really help me make useful videos just like this one. To add skills to your project, you can follow this instruction provided by the Cloud Code team. I will leave a link to this documentation in the description. But basically, you simply need to create a .cloud slash skills folder. And in the skills folder, you can create the folder that contains the skill instructions. For example, we can create an explaining code folder. And in that folder, create a skill markdown file that contains the name and description of the skill as front matter. The name usually follows the skill folder name, and the description is where you describe what the skills can be used for. It is especially important because Cloud will consider the description to decide when to apply the skill. And then below that, you just write the instructions to apply in this skill, including examples, references, or scripts that Cloud can run when applying the skill. Okay, let's dive in and learn how to create our first skill. I'm going to copy this instruction for the code explainer skill. And then I will open a project in VS Code here. We will try to run a skill on this code base later. But for now, let's go over to the .cloud folder and create the skills folder. In the skills folder, create a new folder that will contain the skill. So let's call this code explainer. And then in this folder, I will create a skill markdown file. Then paste the skill instruction here. Oh, and the name is explaining code, so let's change the folder name. Alright, and now we have just created our first skill. Let's try to run this skill next. Head over to the terminal, run the cloud command. Okay, now cloud is running, so let's run the slash skills command to see all available skills. Here we have the explaining code skill which we just created. Next, let me explain the code base a bit. So we have a web dashboard created using React here. Let me run the project with npm run dev. And here's how the project looks. It's a customer relationship management app that has a sales dashboard for tracking sales and activities. And then there is the customer's menu and also the menu for deals or transactions. But it's currently still in progress. So we're going to ask Cloud Code to explain this code base with the skill we just created. Back in the terminal, let's ask Cloud how does this code work. Press enter and let Cloud process the request. After a while, it will ask for permission to use the explaining code skill as follows. You can allow Cloud to run a skill just once, give it permission to use the skill permanently or simply reject it. I will just allow it here and it will continue the process. I will expand the terminal to make it easier to see. Cloud is currently scanning the code base and after a moment, it responded with this explanation about the code base. Let's scroll up to the beginning. So here we can see the analogy created by Cloud to explain this application. This app is like a restaurant with different sections. There is the building or the main entry point, which is the app.tsx file. And then the sidebar is the maitre d' or the head waiter that guides you to different dining rooms. Those dining rooms are the main pages, things like customers, deals, and activities. Each room has its own menu, which in this case is represented by mock data. From there, the explanation goes deeper. It walks through the application's architecture diagram and then moves into a step-by-step -step breakdown of the core pieces, 
such as the essential components, how the TypeScript type system is used, and how everything connects. This kind of explanation is especially helpful when you're opening a project for the first time. It gives you a quick mental model of how things are organized so you can get oriented fast and start working with confidence. So that's how skills work in a nutshell. You can make it as simple or as advanced as you need. And if you need help in creating skills, there's actually a skills marketplace for cloth where you can just install pre-built skills. For example, on this agent skills repo created by Anthropic, there are many skills related to document manipulation and management, such as interacting with docx files, PDFs, Excels, MCP servers, and even a skill creator that will help you design and create new skills. I will leave a link to this in the description. To use these skills, you can install the marketplace with this slash plugin command. Let me show you how to do it real quick. So just copy this command, and then back in cloud code, paste the command and press enter. The Anthropic Agent Skills Marketplace is now installed and you can run the slash plugin command to access the marketplace. Okay, here we are. So over here, we can install all kinds of plugins including MCP servers, skills, or workflows. You can look around in this marketplace and then you can also press tab to switch the contacts, view installed plugins, and then marketplaces. Currently, we have two marketplaces active, and then we have the errors tab for any plugin that's not working. Now, let's try to install skills from Anthropic Agent Skills, and then select Browse Plugins. So, we have two plugins here, Document Skills and Example Skills. I will select Example Skills, as this is the one that contains the skill creation skill. You can install the skills in different scopes, either User Scope, Project Scope, or just a Local Scope. I will select project scope for now to make it available for all people who work on this project. Okay, now the skills are installed, so if we go to cloud setting.json file, we can see the plugin is enabled. We have to restart cloud code to load the plugins, so let's just do that. Back inside cloud code, run the slash skills command, and now we have these new skills provided by Anthropic, which is pretty convenient. And that's how you can add pre-made skills. Now let's try to run the skill creator here to create a new skill. I will ask Cloud to create an image editor skill for me. Just like before, Cloud will ask for permission to use the skill, this time the skill creator. Let's allow that. And then it will ask some questions regarding the skill you want to build. For example, what prompts would you use to call the skill? You can select all that apply. I will select this convert PNG to JPEG format. And then what Python library should be used for the skill? There is below OpenCV or both. I will just go with the recommended one here, which is below. And once Cloud have all the necessary information, it will start creating the skill. This process will take some time and it might ask for permission to run bash scripts. I will skip a bit to when it's finished. And now the skill has been created. It includes six Python scripts to edit an image, applying transformation, filter, format conversion, and so on. It also describes how you can install the skill, but I've gone ahead and copied the skills into the .cloud slash skills folder over here. The image editor skill contains the skill.md file for the instructions and examples, and then the scripts folder here contains the Python script for various image editing operations. So let's restart cloud code first, and then run the slash skills command, and we can see the new image editor skill right here. Okay, let's try to run this skill to edit an image next. Over here, I have an image of a flower, so I will ask Claw to apply black and white filter to the image. Let it run for a second, and it will ask to use the image editor skill. Let's allow that. And here's a copy of the image with the black and white filter applied to it. Nice work. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can access this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. 
So that's basically how you can create and use skills in Cloud Code to extend the agent's capabilities, helping you to achieve more with Cloud. You can use skills to let Cloud interact with documents, creating and editing images, PowerPoint presentations, spreadsheets, PDF files, and much more. Instead of creating your own skills, you can also use pre-made skills that are shared in public. For example, this awesome Cloud Skills repo, which contains skills for various workflows. There is the skill for creating D3 JavaScript charts, AWS development best practices, iOS simulator, MCP builder, and many more. You can explore all these skills if you are interested. I will leave the link in the description below. And that brings us to the end of this video. Now you've seen how cloud skills can make the AI smarter, more reliable, and more useful for your specific workflows. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you learn how to code and use AI tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, like this video, all the good stuff as it really helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!